Okay, girls, I, I know this is gonna really sound crazy, but let me explain. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of going back into um, mini braids. I know, I know. My thought was when I got to a tropical environment, my hair would just, you know, do its thing. Now, I know I said this. I'm so done with braids even though I have braids on in this video. I'm done with small braids, I'm actually- I know that I said that I would never go back to mini braids again. And <laughs> perhaps I'm partially regretting saying that because here's the thing, when I got, when I redid my mini braids back in January, they were like beautiful. I wish I hadn't taken them down because I realized that over time, I've been able to gather that the reason why my hair was breaking off so much from my takeout that took me 10 hours, Kristen, if you would like to see that, this video's right there. Obviously, it was a lot of manipulation and I should expect that level of breakage after not handling my hair for three months. If you decide to take out your locks, you are going to experience quite a bit of breakage, shedding, tangles, knots, because your hair has been tucked away for how now locks take a lot they're they're held in much longer than midi braids but three months of not touching my hair of not doing anything with it i should have expected that level of breakage and it wasn't even a lot because then when i actually blew out my hair and braided it my ends looked fine everything looked fine that's just the part of the natural process right and so i freaked out and i thought something was terribly wrong with my hair so let me try and remedy it by avoiding mini braids at all costs i did protein treatments i trimmed my hair and it didn't really get rid of the small pieces i saw it's a hi rain so now that my hair i can't wear wigs while i'm here you guys it's too hot there are women here that do it it's just too hot for me i can't handle it i can't i need to wear my hair out so that means i have been struggling trying to find a style that lasts as long that keeps me out of my hair that's protective and i can't find it i can't i was just like mini braids <laughs> i don't know maybe some of you guys are thinking sure why don't you try mini twists the problem is my hair is kinky like the texture is that of a i don't know how to describe kinky to people you, you can say cotton i mean i know kinky can actually be a very interesting word but it does have a texture like cotton right it's not it's frizzy not frizzy frizz is not i don't believe in frizz all i'm trying to say you guys is with my hair texture mini twists just don't last very long they get frizzes can't use that one. they start looking rough for me after like i put my hair in mini twists like on the wash a day and everything and then in like 30 minutes my hair is like oh that's cute you thought we were gonna look good after 30 minutes <laughs> we'll wait until tomorrow we'll show you what we're made of and then tomorrow comes and my frizz my mini twists look like I have to redo them all over again. And I know one thing about my mini braids, they held me down. They did, regardless of how I felt about how I felt about them. And I regret it. I regret saying it. They held me down. I will not be keeping them in for three months. I just can't keep them in that long. And I think that's where my first mistake was and why I experienced that level of breakage, that level of shedding and that level of tangling because I kept them in too long. In fact, there's a video that I just put public. It was private. I just put public and it's my two month mini braid update from last year. And as you can see in that video, my hair doesn't look that bad. And I was wearing my hair out more during the two month mark. Hi, Rain. So, you know, I feel like if I give it just two months, my hair will be okay. And so I'm by the end of this month because I had to order a blow dryer because I like to install my mini braids with blow dryer. I'm only going to keep them in for two months. I don't do any rebraiding. But girl, the, the growth that I get from using mini braids, that is what I love so much about mini braids. And they show your hair length a little bit more. Too. Thank you. Anywho. <laughs> so I did tell my husband about my YouTube channel. I showed him a few, not a few videos. I just showed him the page. <laughs> I didn't want him to watch me, but... Um, 
that's like hard for me, but that was a huge step. I should actually applaud myself for that. This is what I have been missing while I was here. So we found a beauty supply store here that actually sells shea butter. And so we did find some, I really needed the shea butter cause y'all know I love shea butter. My hair loves shea butter. Only thing is this is not the raw shea butter, but this is 100% natural. This is the one I was using before I switched to the white raw one, the more chunkier one. However, this, I'm not complaining. This this is what I've been needing and I'm glad they had it here. By the way, thank you all so much who has subscribed to my husband's and I and my YouTube channel, or joint YouTube channel, The Morgan Dialogues. Um, if you haven't, you can head over. I'll have the link somewhere in the description box or on the screen here. Um, we've It's been received very well amongst our family and friends who know us personally. And we hope to grow on YouTube and, you know, do something really fun together. It's great. It kind of merges both of our love for being on video talking conversation with people it's really cool and we just shared our three-part love story which is absolutely insane it might as well be a movie one day <laughs> so yeah um i really am scattered going at this point and i don't remember where i last left off but i will say that i learned my lesson from the last mini break takedown i plan to use moisturizer to take those down because i didn't use oil and i think that dryness made the breakage even worse you know so because the shea butter routine is mainly minimal water as possible your hair is really dry once you're ready to take it down so i'm going to do the same thing i did back then because it worked i had inches and i missed that i missed that and i feel like my hair because i haven't been knowing what to do with it i've been unintentionally breaking off the length and that i'm growing and i'm trying to get i was trying to get to bra strap i'm still in jesus name i'm still gonna try to make it well, I mean, you're either going to do it in Jesus' name or not. So the Lord will help me and give me the grace to, I will make it to bra strap length by December. So that's why I'm just like, let me get myself back together because these styles that I've been doing are not holding up. Like I've done chunky twists, chunky braids, chunky everything. And it's just because my hair is still short and not long to kind of hold on to itself. It just get, it unravels or again, it gets starts looking rough after a few days with my texture. So. I think that's all I'm gonna say because um, and I'm sorry, this is just not my standard of what I would hope to put out as a good video, but I can't compete with the rain. I can't, I can't compete. So, that, would I miss anything? So in spite of what I said about never doing mini braids again, I'm here to just eat my words and say that I absolutely will do mini braids and I will do, oh, that's right. I was talking about, I didn't have a blow dryer. I ordered a blow dryer. So it's gonna be here by the end of May. And then I'm gonna install those mini braids in April and hopefully, every two months take them out reinstall take them. two months i think is my happy place i was ready to take them out at the two month mark but i was trying to stay consistent with the coily cold crown challenge and that pushed it longer than it should have i was actually touching four months by the time i took those mini braids out so um that's going to be my goal for the remainder of this year and i will do i may do a video oh uh, no i will do a video for you guys of course i will thumbs this video up no, don't do it. You guys don't have to thumbs it up. I'm going to do it for you. Thank you guys all so much for your love on the previous video. Thank you again. I, I appreciate every single one of you, all my Chloe companions, and hopefully the next video won't be as chaotic as this. Okay. Bye, guys.